guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a review slash demo slash first impression on a beauty product that I've actually never tried out before and it is the Flower Beauty brand by Drew Barrymore. For those of you guys who don't know who she is, she is actually a pretty um, famous or popular actress who's played in quite a, a few good movies like Charlie's Angel which is the one that I've known her for. Besides that, so I did pick up her foundation and the powder and I also picked up six of her lip uh, chubbies in the matte velvet finish. For the foundation, this retails for $13.98. The color is LF6 and it actually comes with a pump. It's supposed to provide skin smoothing moisture, seamless coverage, uh, smooth and perfection and even your skin tone and contains vitamin C and E for anti-aging benefits. It's fragrance free and paraben free. And moving on to the powder. The color I picked up was um, in PP4 and it also uh, provides natural seamless coverage. It also has C and E anti-aging benefits, fragrance free and paraben free. And this retails for $9.98. For the lip chubby, it retails for $7.98. It's supposed to be weightless satin matte finish and they contain papaya and orchid hydrating complex. It's supposed to give you intense color payoff and it has no fragrance, tech, DC or paraben. This is the matte velvet finish. So without further ado, let's get started on the demo on each of these products. So I'm just going to pump some of this onto the back of my hand. And it looks like it's going to be a thick foundation, but we will see. And I'm just using my beauty blender. And I'm going to put it all on my right side of my face. And blend that out. Okay, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I'm definitely more of like a full coverage kind of girl. So this feels like it's not full coverage. Or it doesn't even look like it's full coverage. And that was from one layer. You can see the difference from my right side to my left side. Looks like it evened out my skin tone just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats. See how this works. So this is from two coats of putting this foundation on my face using a beauty blender. It feels very lightweight, and I'm trying to want it to set to see if it'll set nicely without its powder. But it looks like it's like a satin. Finish. And it looks like it's buildable, but it's not covering completely everything. I can still see some blemishes here. Um, my nose is just a little bit tiny bit red there. So let me finish the rest of my other side of the face. It doesn't really smell like anything. There's like a slight scent to it, but it's not bad at all. So let me go ahead and open up the powder and set it. And I'm actually going to be using the brush that it comes with to see if it's even worth it. My eyes already get creased up. So let me just do my eyes real quick. This brush actually feels very soft. So yes, if you don't like um, dewy finish, this is, I don't recommend this foundation for you. But it's very dewy, but I am trying to set it with this brush and it's taking forever because it's so little. So I think I'm just going to use my powder brush and do it. I mean, this will be faster. So here's a close-up of the foundation and powder on my face. 
after setting the foundation with the powder, it's actually not bad. It's definitely not a full coverage foundation and not a matte foundation, but once you set it with the powder, it, um, it's actually, it looks really good. It evens out my skin tone under my eyes. It doesn't feel like a thick foundation at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it on one of the lipsticks. Here's a close-up of the lipstick in Barrymore that I'm going to try on. It has a little cap like this and there is a twisty at the bottom here where you can twist up. So here is how the lipstick looks like. It is Definitely a matte velvet finish like what it claims. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back with the rest of my makeup on. The foundation, powder, and lipstick obviously. One thing that I did change was the lipstick. I ended up choosing um, Ready to Bloom. So yeah, before I do um, give you guys my thoughts and review about this by the end of the night, I want to go ahead and show you guys all these swatches of the six colors that I did choose. Here is Ready to Bloom and this is pretty much a bright red brick kind of color and this is such a lovely red with a hint of pink on it. Perfect for spring. Here is Coral Floral. The name says it all. It's pretty much a bright orange. It's like a neutral orange that you can actually wear. Very appropriate for spring also. I actually really like this color. Here is Berry Moore. And Berry Moore is like a neutralized berry color. A mauve berry. This is actually very nice to wear even during this time of year. Here is Mauve Over. And this is a nice neutral mauve. Perfect for work or for school. Here is Lights of Peach, and this is kind of like a light, corally, peachy color. This would be nice to wear with dark eyeshadow um, and if you have light skin, but because I have dark skin, for me, it felt like it kind of washed me out. Alright, so it is practically, I think, about six hours that I've been wearing this foundation, and we're actually on the way home from the grocery stores. Lila is back there. She's definitely not asleep. Honey, what do you think about the foundation? It looks fabulous. Like, you think oh it looks the same like what I've been wearing all the time? Yeah. No oiliness around my forehead. I haven't actually re powdered my face since I've worn the foundation. It looks fine. The lipstick is still here. It's actually not drying at all. Hey guys, so it's about 9 hours into me wearing this foundation and it's pretty much like nighttime right now. But I just finished cooking with my hubby and we're about to eat right now. And we just made some yummy pho and some nava. And Lila here is going to be eating at KFC. <laughs> so we'll see how this lipstick wears by the time I'm done eating pho because as you guys all know that it can get quite messy. So I'm back and it is currently about 12 o'clock midnight right now. It looks pretty nice still. The only difference that I've noticed is that the foundation kind of settled on my fine lines around my nose right here. And I can feel the oil coming around my nose. Um, not so bad around my T-zone. I am going to go ahead and just sit it real quick again to see if it's able to apply this foundation on without it looking cakey. So let's see. I'm also going to reapply lipstick to see how it looks like. Me laying it on, it, it feels actually really nice still. It doesn't uh, look drying. It's still moisturizing. I really like that. My ratings for each of these products, for the foundation, I would... For myself, I think for what it claims to do, I would probably give it a 4. Just because I didn't like the fact that it started to settle on my fine lines around here. It doesn't say that it was going to be like a matte and like 8 hour foundation. So for that, you know, I think what it claims, it does a pretty good job of that. For the powder, it's actually pretty nice. It's not like a really thick powder. You can set it on and it looks really nat natural and nice. 
and I also of course reapply this on just right now and it doesn't look cakey at all so that's definitely a plus I would give this powder a 5 for the lipstick I would give this a 5 I absolutely love this it's um a matte velvet finish like what it claims to do and it's long lasting I've been I've had it on all day I just reapplied it right now and it looks amazing it actually there's no smell to it so that's a plus for those of you who don't like uh, lipstick fragrance pretty much there you have it my thoughts and my review on all these products by the brand flower beauty and I hope you guys found it helpful besides that I'll see you guys next time